This video is a full and comprehensive review of the Wild Environmental Science Medical Science Kit. And at this point, having used this kit with our kids, I can tell you there is definitely a population of homeschoolers that this kit is perfect for. However, I can also tell you there's definitely a population of homeschoolers that may want to skip this one. And by the end of this video, hopefully you will know which category of families you fall into. Let's start with the basics of the kit though. The kit itself costs $34, although as I make this video, it's currently on sale for $20 on Amazon, and that's a pretty good deal. The subject matter between the kits notwithstanding, there are some pretty big differences between this kit and other Tames and Cosmos kits that I've reviewed on the channel already. For example, in the Tames and Cosmos kits, you will see on the box how many experiments you'll be able to do. Interestingly enough, nowhere on the box of this medical science kit does it tell you actually how many experiments you're going to be able to perform. And to add to the mystery, the booklet itself doesn't even come with the table of contents. I'll get back to the booklet in a second because there are some things that I like about it. Back to the kit's basics, the kit's goal is to explore the science of the human body and it's advertises for ages 8 and up. For starters, when you open the box, it's not terribly organized and you'll notice all the pieces that come with it just kind of fall onto the table. My initial emotion when that happened was mild disappointment, but later I began to think that at least it cuts down on unnecessary plastic and styrofoam, so when I had that line of thinking, I wasn't as disappointed as I was when I just opened the box. It does come with a wide range of science equipment like beakers, and beaker holders, but you will need some common household items for several of the experiments. Getting back to the book, what I like about the educational pamphlet is it has a lot of biology and medical applications that go along with the included experiments. For example, in the gastrointestinal system, they include an acid and base experiment to simulate food as it travels from the mouth to the esophagus down to the stomach into the small intestines. And then it includes also additional reading about bacteria that you'll find in the normal digestive system, which can be a good lesson to your kids about good bacteria that you have inside your body. To help study the muscular a skeletal system, they have you create plaster or Paris molds of the hand, and they do a quick anatomy lesson on all the bones of the hand. It was pretty cool for my son to see how many bones and muscles we have in the hand that allow us to be as dexterous as we are. What I don't like about the educational pamphlet is its size and composition. Let's just compare it to the favorite booklet that I've reviewed, and that comes with the Chemistry C1000 in the Tames and Cosmos kits. You can see the boxes are pretty much the same size, so it's not a lack of space problem. The C1000 kit has plenty of room to include the experiments, nice large pictures, large fonts, and it flows and is much easier to read. As I mentioned, the biology kit doesn't even have a table of contents, nor does it even make a significant separation between the educational text and the start of each experiment. The experiments aren't labeled 1, 2, experiment A, B, C. It's very cluttered. So I'm not a fan of the booklet, and if you've seen my other reviews, you know I've always said a booklet can make or break your experience with a science kit. But the booklet is everything, so let's talk about the science that comes with it. The science experiments range from pretty cool and fun like making plaster of Paris molds and simulating the gastrointestinal system with acid base experiments to significantly less inspiring experiments like using salt to melt ice or exhaling your own air and noticing the change in temperature by changing the shape of your mouth. It's a pretty interesting concept and something that I've never really realized before but spending 35 bucks to use an experiment that requires you to exhale your own air seems kind of unfulfilling. They do have experiments based on the classic elephant toothpaste reaction. They also, in the musculoskeletal system, have additional demonstrations on how to make hard chicken bones very bendy and flexible by removing the calcium from it. Having done some of these experiments already with my kids in the past, brings me to who this kit is actually for. At its price range of $35 and potentially on sale for 20, this is the perfect science kit for a family that is just getting started. An also added benefit for the family that isn't terribly interested in starting with chemistry or physics, you know this is gonna be a biology theme lesson and it has a lot of experiments that you can do. If you haven't done a lot of science experiments on your own, this is a great start. If you've already purchased chemistry kits, specifically like the Thames and Cosmos chemistry kits, there is a lot of crossover in the experiments for example, the acid and base reactions. So with the crossover in topics, even though this is really more of a medical and biology experiment, I don't think I would recommend this to your family. So again, if you're just getting started in the homeschooling process and you're looking for a kit to get you going, this kit will do just fine. But if you've done some basic science and experiments with your kids already, I would probably pass on that and I will leave a link in the description to kits that I would recommend over buying this one because I think if you've already started doing some science and have already purchased some kits at home, this might not be the best investment for you. As always, I hope these videos are beneficial. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.